Well, good morning. This morning we're at Land's Greenhouse, which is a very large tomato grower in the Netherlands. And I'm here with Wilco Vissa, who is a communications manager. The two things we're going to talk about here are, for one, your completely enclosed greenhouse, which is behind us. And the other is a combined heat and power system. And that's basically where the grower burns natural gas, utilizes the carbon dioxide for the plant photosynthesis. They use the uh, uh, heat when needed during the night in particular. And then the third is that they are able to sell, to utilize the electricity and to sell excess electricity to the power grid. So these are some uh, relatively novel things. We certainly don't see combined heat and power systems in the United States. And I'm wondering what drove you to make these two investments to the CHP system as well as to the completely con uh, enclosed greenhouse? I always think that uh, for the consumer and for the retailer that uh, sustainability is more and more important. Um, so we think that uh, as lands that you can uh, play on that with this kind of uh, new investments. Could you tell me a little bit more about the system and how you utilize the aquifers uh, to use the heat when you need it? Well, mainly the system uh, is uh, going about harvesting and we harvest the warmth in the summer and we put that in the storage and in the winter we get that up and then we harvest the cold and then the, the cold is uh, storage in the bottom. Um, so it's a, a circulation system of warmth and cold. Um, and that's how you save energy. Because okay. when you harvest the warmth, you don't have to make it in the winter uh, with natural gas. So your heating bill is much lower in this system? Yes, it's uh, much uh, lower, about 30 to 35%. So we're inside the completely enclosed greenhouse. There are no vents open anywhere at the top. And I'm wondering if you can tell me uh, how the air movement occurs in this greenhouse. Because obviously it's a very warm day. How do you keep this greenhouse cool? Well, the cold is now, uh, we, put, uh, we get the cold from the, the ground now. We get it up. And then it's going into a system uh, because the cold is water. Uh, it is in water. Uh, it's going into a ventilation system and it gives its cold to the air and then with uh, vents it is blown into the tubes what you see here below okay. uh, the tomatoes and also in the the, uh, the boxes above the tomatoes yeah. so we get cold on this moment uh, in the, above the glass house and uh, from below and of course the cool air comes down yeah, the cool air comes down, okay. and then it first is going to the, the, the heads of the, to, the, the, of the tomatoes. And it's very important that here is a good climate for the tomatoes, because there is the new uh, flowers, uh, the new uh, tomatoes, the pollination. So it's very important to have a good climate there. So it's very important to have the cold uh, there in, uh, above the, in the glass house. Okay. I would just suppose one of the advantages of the closed greenhouse is that you can keep the carbon dioxide levels more where you want them compared to if you're venting. Is that yes. correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, and what sort of enrichment levels are you providing right now? Uh, about 900 to 1,000 ppm. And so as a result, are you using less CO2 compared to your open greenhouse? Yes. Okay. All right, we're in the area here where you have your combined heat and power system. Can you tell us how it works? Yeah. Uh, we make heat with a boiler that's okay. behind us. Yeah. Uh, that was a normal system. Uh, you put natural gas into it. I have a 100% uh, warmth. Uh -huh. And nowadays we do it with a CHP. That's uh, there. Uh, that's the motor that combines heat and power. Okay. You put natural gas into it. Uh, and you have about 40% electricity from uh, a cubic meter of gas. And about 60% warmth. Um, and also there is a, uh, a machine that uh, cleans the pollination. Okay. That's that one. And the CO2 is going into the glass house with the big tubes. Okay, so there's very little waste. There's a little bit of water that's released, right? Yeah. What do you do with that water? Is it just drained out? No, it's going into the rainwater chiller. Okay, so you're actually capturing yeah, everything capture, possible out of that yeah, natural gas. You capture everything what was possible. So you're very, it's a very efficient system. For the, the glass houses, it's a very, very efficient system. What sort of price tag does this have? Is it a million euros or more to, to purchase? In a year. 
No, how much does it cost to the purchase? The investment. Yeah. Uh, about 1.4 to 1.6 million for this engine. Okay. And this is an engine that can produce 3,000 kilowatt in an hour. Wow. So do you have any idea what sort of payback period is required for this investment? About four to six years. Four to six years, okay.